Hi, I'm Stephen Hay from Archery Supplies. Today I want to talk about Blade RRS, which is this thing here. The most common RRS used for target archers. Basically, anyone who does target archery uses this type of rest. And some people are going to say, well, there are drop away RRS. Yes, there are, but the majority of target archers use a blade. It's consistent, um, simple, it's basically what everyone uses. Now one of the common problems you're going to get with a blade arrow rest is that as you draw back, as you draw back the arrow, the arrow bounces on the rest and falls off. Now I was having this problem the other day and basically I had to stop shooting. Now the questions you're going to say is why does it shudder and bounce? Could be the bow's too heavy as far as the draw weight when I'm pulling back the bow or the physical mass of the bow is too heavy. And I probably suffer from both those problems because I haven't been shooting much and basically my muscles are down and I just haven't been shooting enough arrows because I've been busy at work. Now the shutters comes basically as you start drawing about the midway because the point of the arrow um, is weighing it down and it creates the shutter happening so you've got to draw back slower when it's happening. Now you can reduce that by reducing the length of your arrow, reducing the point weight, but generally target archers have a heavy point weight, so it makes it, this amplifies the problem. Now if you've got a heavy, heavy point weight, you can increase the blade thickness to reduce the shutters, but generally you want to stick to a kind of medium kind of blade thickness. So let's just try this and let's see if I get some shutter happening. Now you can see halfway through that draw cycle, you can see it vibrating, but the arrow stayed on there. Now one of the other reasons you'll get um, the shutter occurring is here. If it's pinching the knock, you'll get a little bit of the shutter occurring, so just make sure it's not pinching. Let's just do this again. Now one of the problems I have when I shoot competition, if I'm under a lot of pressure and I'm fatiguing and the shoot's going on, my muscles are fatiguing, I get this bouncing thing happening and halfway through the shoot I'm struggling pulling back the, the arrow on the blade. The timer's running down because you've got like two minutes to shoot, six arrows or whatever it is, and there's putting more pressure on you so you don't want that. So I was thinking what's one of the solutions for this? And then it occurred to me that there's this company called Biter Archery. And they make all these archery products. And I want to show you their rest. Right, this is the Biter Blade Arrow Rest. It's basically one of the more expensive blade arrow rests on the market. Um, here it is here. So the blades on the Biter are a little bit different than normal. They come in different, wit different widths different um, thicknesses and different lengths also. So they have two lengths, uh, this is a standard length, and they have a longer one. Um, only a few archers have ever asked for the longer ones. Um, they come in two sizes here um, of blades. I'm just going to fit a normal one. It's got micro adjustment up and down, left and right. I'm going to show you how that all works. Um, but what I'm going to do is going to fit this to the bow and I'm going to show you that this doesn't shudder. Now you're going to say, why does this rest not shudder when the other ones do? It's these little bits of plastic here. I'm going to try and zoom in. And here. You can see it's very hard to get a shudder happening. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fit this rest to my Supra and I want to demonstrate this rest. Okay, so we want to compare the shudder on the biter rest to the normal blade rest. So I fitted it to the bow. So this time I'm using the same arrow. This is a narrower blade than the other one. Um, Bite to produce blades in different thicknesses, in different widths. So this is the narrow one. This is a number four. It also comes with a five in the kit. So just watch the vibration on the arm here, um, on the rest, as I draw the bow.
absolutely no shutter no shutter whatsoever with the biter arrest no bouncing no arrows falling off now if that's not worth points i don't know what is so one more try um in some of my videos you see me recommending cheap products um it's because people are getting into the sport they're on a tight budget but if you're into the sport and you want to get decent gear as far as superior gear look at this rest this is definitely worth considering Now what this gives me is complete confidence that I can come out and shoot. And some people are going to say, well, you need to reduce the weights off your bow. You need to reduce the poundage of your bow. And yes, probably to both those things. However, I'm trying to build up. I'm trying to build up strength. I'm trying to build up practice. Having this rest on there is just going to give me confidence that I can sit here and shoot even when I'm fatiguing. And I need to shoot when I'm fatiguing. I need that whole feeling of fatigue. And I need to shoot through the fatigue. So this rest is going to give it to give me that confidence and about $200 it's not that much more expensive than a normal arrow rest and I think the features are well worth it. I'm Stephen Han from Archery Supplies and the more you shoot the better you shoot. Thanks for watching. Bye.